Hi everybody, my name is Brian Gushikawa, and I'll be doing an exclusive video guest review for Jet Pens on the Pentel Vicuña, available from the website. Uh, although I'm sure the body comes in many different colors, I received this orange and gray one as a sample. Uh, let's get right down to it. Uh, as far as appearance goes, this looks like a standard retractable uh, click, or what we call in Japan a knock-type ballpoint pen. Uh, it has a fairly solid and very, very precise catch to it. So you can hear that wonderful clicking sound. The body itself is made of a... feels like a hard plastic, but it is not a polycarb, so it's not uh, perfectly smooth. It does have a little bit of texture to it, uh, but it's not a full elastomer grip like you would find in a Sakura Grosso, where this has the very, very hard uh, or squishy, alternately, rubberized grip. Uh, it is fairly easy to hold, though, because it does have a little bit of ridge texture on it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the clip here, and the clip has a little bit of a ridge, and you'll be able to see this in the photos that uh, will be posted along with the review. And that's enough to grip the uh, shirt pocket or pants pocket or what have you, pen loop. Uh, unlike most pens where this uh, part here will actually become unscrewed so you can take the refill out, the Vicuña unscrews from the rear. This is something we'll also see on the Uniball power tank. So you have the top mechanism here, and we'll take out the refill, which comes out in this way. So we have a 0.7 millimeter tip on the refill, which will write about a 0.35 to 0.4 millimeter line, depending on how hard you press. Uh, that's a fairly constant thing with these grease type ballpoint pens. Um, even though they're made with a gel matrix, they, they still use the grease type ink. So we can see there's about that much ink, that much of the refill is available and filled with ink. And it doesn't seem like much, and if it was a gel pen, a true gel pen, then it wouldn't be a whole lot. But because this is grease ink technology, it will last for quite a long time. So good, put that back in. It screws in fairly easily. And let's get down to the writing part. So we're going to be grading this on a few different attributes, one of which is smoothness, there's some line skipping and line width. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of writing. Uh, this pen was designed to be smooth, and it was designed to, to compete directly with offerings such as the uh, Surati or the, the Jetstream, which is the original of, of all of these smooth writing, gel-style ballpoint ink pens. Uh, it is very smooth. There is no line skipping even when you make reverse circles. That's good. Uh, there is a little bit of blobbing. Uh, sometimes when you might write loops and stuff, but that's fairly common in pens like these. It's just a kind of a side effect of the gel matrix that the ink is suspended in. Uh, but it is very smooth. It's glassy smooth, and, and it requires very little effort to write. Uh, there won't be any bleed through on the paper because this is a grease type ballpoint ink, and it does dry fairly quickly. So even after just a couple of seconds, it's good. So this is ideal for left-handed writers. So I write a line. Second later, there's no smearing. Uh, the color is fairly vibrant, and there is a a nice dark shade of black here. Even though this is dye ink, you can see that it, it does approach the color of a true gel. So it is very a deep, dark black. So that's fantastic. Uh, overall, I'd give this pen a very good rating. Uh, this is a pen definitely worth getting, especially if you have a need for a pen that, one, writes smoothly, and is very light and easy to handle because you have carpal tunnel or other wrist problems. So you have tendonitis from writing too much, taking too many notes. This is an ideal pen because it has the textured ridge. It is very, very glassy smooth. Uh, the performance of it is at least on par with the Jetstream. And you'll find that it's very, very lightweight, and the, the forward balance of the weight really helps you maintain control of the pen very easily with very little pressure. So until next time, this is Brian Gushikawa thanking you for watching a video review of the Pentel Vicuña.